Ah, hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Gadget Nation with me, Adam Karabas. Currently, I'm here at Tokyo Pastry, all the way in Kota Damansara. So, what do we have in store today? Let's see, something from Logitech, something from Samsung. Excited? I know, I certainly am. Uh, excuse me, I'm feeling a bit peckish as well. Right, like a diamond. Oh, sorry, camera's on, okay, let me just pause that. In case you're wondering what all this is, it will come later. Let's just focus on what we have here at hand from Samsung. It may look like a laptop, it may feel like a laptop, but it is not just a laptop. It is way beyond that. This, of course, Samsung ATIV uh, Smart PC Pro 700T. That's a long name, I know. I'm just going to call it the 700. Now, firstly, just to clarify, there are two variations of this. There's a cheaper version, which is like the 500. This is the 700. So, obviously, it's pricier, it's better, and it can do a lot more. So, firstly, it certainly looks like a laptop, certainly feels like a laptop, as you can see right there. Think of the Microsoft Surface Pro. It's very similar to that. It has this keyboard here, but we can just take it out and pop it up like such. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a second. Now this is a separate accessory. I should also clarify that. It does not come as one package. If you want to have the whole setup, you have to pay extra and it's not that cheap. Let me put that aside for now and focus on what we have here at hand. Now obviously, as you can see, it's running on Windows 8, very noticeable. And you just need to put in the password. One second. And very nifty if you ask me. Let me tell you why. Now firstly, before we talk about what this exactly has to offer, just to stress one more thing, this does not act as a secondary battery. Now, a lot of docking tablets nowadays will boost the battery life of the tablet itself. This is not the case in this scenario, but it is weighted so as to give a more balanced issue, something which can be a problem in other docking tablets as well. So it feels very much like a laptop. Okay, enough of the keyboard. Let's go straight to what we have here. So, it's nice and large. I'm like holding it in my hands and it operates very, very smoothly. What about the design, etc.? Not sure if you can pick it up, but we have these grilled speakers here on the front. Now that's quite nifty in the fact that if you're using this as a tablet to view something, sound is gonna come straight at you. However, it's not particularly loud. It lacks any sort of punch, really. So you're better off using the headphone jack, which is placed up there in the top corner. That's also got the on-off button. Here, we have one covered dock, so you can plug in your USB 3.0, so at least you're getting fast speeds. I did test out my hard disk in terms of playing video format, etc., and it was absolutely fine. Very happy. Now, in terms of other aspects, we have a SIM card slot there. We have a micro SD as well, so you can really expand the memory right there. It's the volume rocker and also the HDMI port as well. So very cool. And most of those are covered as well. So it's got a very clean look about it. Right there, you're checking out is the two megapixel camera. Eh, I'm not really gonna use this for a camera the other day. Perhaps if I was to download Skype and start playing around with it, then that's a possibility. Another camera there on the back as well. Question is, what about performance? So, in terms of performance, it performs very well. Again, like I mentioned early on, this is the more expensive variation. So obviously, it packs a little bit more punch. In case you're wondering, this does use a slightly condensed version of 32-bit Windows 8 for all the enthusiasts out there. Now, in terms of performance, I'm not gonna touch on Windows 8 itself because that's a whole different issue. But in terms of the tasks which I put onto it, it performed very, very well. I was playing MKV files straight out of the hard drive and it was rendering it absolutely brilliant. Saying that, I did have to download VLC player in order to play those files, so perhaps some third-party apps are needed to get exactly what you need. Now, in terms of typing, the keyboard here is rather large and it certainly fills up, I'm just gonna to try to show you here, a large part of the screen. So, for example, when I wanna log in at the beginning, it fills up right here, as you can see, right there. So nice, easy, spaced out keyboard. 
very good if you're writing a quick email, but in terms of other tasks, you will find yourself using this. Now this weighs 1.6 pounds. Combined weight together, you're talking about 3.6. It does feel a little bit top heavy, because this part obviously is heavier, but generally it feels okay. Not as top heavy as something with like the Microsoft Surface, which is effectively just a kickstand, but certainly gets the job done, and it really feels like a fully fledged laptop. Now, in terms of the keyboard, I want to add, the tablet itself does have a USB 3.0. This also has its own USB slot as well, right there, that's 2.0. So you get a lot of connectivity in this. I mean, they thought of everything in that aspect. You will not struggle to put whatever you want onto this tablet. Another part which I haven't mentioned at all, but if you've used a Galaxy Note, there's a pen, there's a stylus here. So you can start using and tinkering around with this. You may notice, I don't have one for comparison's sake, but it is shorter and it is thicker than what you'll find on the Galaxy Note phone. So it's more stunted, but it'll definitely get the job done. It really feels like you're holding a pencil because of the thickness of it. I'm just gonna slot it back into place right there. This, how do I summarize? Versatile. It's everything you'll want just in one little thing right here. Intel Core i5 CPU, fast SSD, and of course, the keyboard dock here allows it to be, at one point, very work-orientated, another point, very entertainment-based. Can't really complain too much. Plus, the evolution of technology, the pen which I showed you just now, it's also very, very intuitive, and it follows the lines perfectly, and it's great to use, especially with apps dedicated for use with a stylus like S-Note or Mini S-Note as well. Some of the things I don't like, the HDMI port, which I showed you, still requires an adapter. This does not provide an additional battery charge. I've become accustomed to being able to charge it on the go as well. However, saying all that, with the ounces and ounces of connectivity that this has, it's really, really, really outstanding. Price, a bit expensive as well, but you know exactly what you're paying for. It's a Windows 8 device, and it's certainly a worthy contender of the throne, given the fact that Asus have got something out, and of course, there's a Surface Pro as well. Pretty nifty. And just in case you thought I was done with this, no, I promise you. What we have right here, it looks like a car, like a very nifty looking car. What is it exactly, apart from being a speaker? Let's find out very soon. <laughs>